Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? In today's video, we're going to feature this guitar from ESP Grassroots. This is a G Snapper M in Tiger Eye.
thank Jeanette from Davis Guitar for sending this guitar for review. Grassroot is from ESP and it's a whole new um, subsidiary. It's meant for the Asian market, uh, namely China, Taiwan and now Singapore. Um, guitar is really well made. Okay, This guitar is all made in China. This guitar features an outer body with a maple top, really nice veneer right, with the side bindings and everything. Also features a hard rock maple neck. Now, I'm not too sure about the fretboard because the fretboard looks really exotic if you can tell from the close-up that I did. Um, I'm like guessing it's some kind of exotic wood, but um, not too expensive and exotic wood. I'm also not sure about the material of the frets. This could be nickel, uh, normal nickel frets. Uh, not too thin. These are the normal, uh, the normal size ones. And I'm guessing the the uh, the the fret radius is about 9.5 to 11 around that region. I don't have the specs, so I'm, I'm sorry. Now the neck, uh, no specs for the neck shape too. This is something like a a, a, a C shape, not a, not a medium C, not not a modern C, more like a medium C, right? Uh, yeah, it's nice. I like the neck. Also features lock-in tuners. Now uh, these are the normal lock-in tuners. Uh, there's no brand to it. Now I'm guessing that this is a a sort of a uh, tusk-like material for the nut. You know, and there's a string tree, right? Really nice. And the veneer, same veneer headstock. These are the Wilkinson uh, single shake uh, bridge, with jump below bridge. Nice. One knob, uh, two knobs, one volume, <laughs> one tone with a push pull. So you can split the single coil at the bridge, right? Five way switch. A nice perloid uh, pig guard, right? Goes really well with this uh, finish. And the back is a plain black uh, finish, right? And uh, that's about it. Now, it features the same uh, slope uh, neck joint that you'll find in the ESP as well as the Edwards uh, models. This is a, a kind of a signature thing from the ESP group. Um, you have a spoke wheel adjustment for your truss rod adjustment, which is cool. Right now, the pickups. The pickups are the proprietary pickups from uh, Grassroots, and I'm loving these pickups. These pickups are really nice. Right, it, it sounds really good. Uh, not too high of an output, maybe somewhere medium, medium output. But the tone that I can get from this pickups is really something. 
Um, the humbuckers are nice and creamy, and when you split call it, there is not much of a volume difference. Of course, there is a slight volume difference, but not a whole lot. And you can get really nice single call tone uh, for the bridge pickup too. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it. And uh, how does it play? It plays really well because the neck profile is something I'm really comfortable with. Uh, in regards to the fact whether this is uh, these are the jumbo frets or extra jumbo frets, which uh, you can find it, uh, you know, I often find in in the Schecter's uh, models or even sorry ESP models. These are like the normal uh, size uh, frets, comfortable to play. Now the fretboard is something else. I have no idea what the fretboard is, but as long as I come off playing it without having my fingers black, I'm happy. So uh, it's nice, you know, it's a nice feel to it. Um, how does it sound? Now, like I said, the pickups are really good. I can get really good uh, sustain out of this, this guitar. Uh, if you go on the fourth position where you have the humbucker um, with the humbucker, you're probably gonna get that, that quack, but more darker quack than you would uh, expect from a single call bridge pickup. Now, once you split call it, it comes back to the original uh, fourth position quack that you we are familiar with on the strat. And that's nice. And I like the neck pickup especially. Nice and creamy and warm and, and yeah. Great. The single calls are great. Right? And I'm gonna put a price down here. Now this is really affordable. Uh, right now they have a, a special offer in Davis. So if you're in Singapore or if you're passing by Singapore, you might want to check these guitars out. They come in various uh, models and, and, and shades. I'm gonna put some pictures here. And uh, they, it, it's it, you know, this guitar is available in Davis Guitar. So if you're in Singapore, or if you're like I say, if you're passing by, uh, give them a call and see what you know. Just drop down, and, or if you're in Singapore, just just go back to your shop and, and try out these guitars. Uh, I find that this guitar are really good value for money. You know, for six hundred ninety or yeah, six hundred ninety seven or something. Like that. You know, somewhere around that Singapore money, you get lock-in tuners, you get great pickups, a Wilkinson bridge, nice finishing. You know, nice finish on, on the body. Nice looking fretboard, actually. <laughs> right. And it's not heavy. I'm going to put a weight down here, too. Right. So let me know what you think about this guitar. Uh, if you are interested and you are like not in Singapore or anywhere near this vicinity, then you might want to email Janet and find out how much it costs to ship them over. You know, so like I said, these guitars are exclusively for, for the Asian region. Right. And uh, yeah, email her. <laughs> so let me know what you think about this guitar in the comment section down below and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and uh, join this channel and press that bell to be notified of future videos that comes up and also be part of the patreon to support this channel i need your support i want to thank each and every one of my patrons for the love encouragement and support uh, and friendship yeah basically so thank you guys so in the meantime you guys please take care of yourself stay safe all right um i'll see you again ciao